Power stations are under attack across the country, including right here in Washington state. Federal officials say that local substations were physically targeted even before North Carolina's power grid attack. Fox 13's Jennifer Dowling joins us to talk about how many sites are located right here in this area, Jen. At least five power substations have been targeted in both Oregon and Washington. That's in the middle of an increase in online calls for attacks on critical infrastructure. And experts say those calls for attacks have ramped up following the midterm elections. Attacks on the infrastructure have been on the radar of extremist anti-government groups for a good 30 years. With attacks being reported on local power substations in Oregon and Washington, extremism expert Randall Blazak says it sounds like a repeat of something the country has been experiencing, stretching back to the period following the Oklahoma City bombing. What a lot of people don't know is that many of those thoughts in the late 1990s were started but were thwarted by the FBI. They broke up a lot of uh, planned attacks on power stations, on dams, and, and other infrastructure targets like that. It's unclear who is responsible for recent damage to several substations in November, but a federal memo reads that during recent physical attacks, suspects have been utilizing hand tools, arson, firearms, and metal chains. Infrastructures are relatively soft targets. They're usually not guarded. Uh, there is little surveillance. I spoke with representatives of Puget Sound Energy, the Cowlitz County Public Utility District, and the Bonneville Power Administration, all confirming attacks. Puget Sound Energy released a statement saying, we have had two cases of vandalism occur in late November at two different substations. As per our standard process, both cases were reported to local law enforcement immediately and also shared with peer utilities and the FBI. When I asked, PSE declined to say which community those attacks were in. It's coverage area covers several counties as shown on this map. Further south, Alice Dietz with the Cowlitz County Public Utility District told me two attacks happened in mid-November in the Woodland area. She says since then PUD has added more security and will continue to. She says they are working with local and state law enforcement as well as the FBI. The Bonneville Power Administration also confirms that attacks happened on a substation in Clackamas, Oregon. Spokesperson Kevin Winger says BPA determined it was a deliberate physical attack over the Thanksgiving holiday, during which BPA operators discovered someone had cut perimeter fence and damaged equipment inside. Winger also told me by phone another incident happened in Centralia August 11th with minimal damage and no disruption to power. But that event is now getting more scrutiny in light of recent attacks. He says BPA has also stepped up patrols at its substations. Blazek says use of social media has accelerated a lot of this activity. He's currently working under a federal grant from Homeland Security to investigate ways to interrupt violent extremism. That world of the anti-government underground that sort of seeks to foment revolution by creating chaos has only grown exponentially over the last uh, five or six years. A spokesperson for the Washington State Patrol says they received a situational awareness bulletin asking that law enforcement and power companies be on heightened alert during this time. Troopers are also asking the public to keep their eye out for anything suspicious. Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News.